Cheers, gang. If you've ever wanted to ship either your own homebrew beer or some craft beer that you came across that you thought your buddies might like, if you've ever wanted to learn how to ship that in the mail, today's video is for you. Gang, what's going on? Big Rob here from Make Beer Easy. Um, on this channel, if you're new here, you're going to find all kinds of tips on brewing, beer in general, um, recipes. I give out a lot of recipes, and also we do brew days. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if that's your stuff you're interested in, and give Big Rob a big thumbs up like on this video if you like it. It really helps us out. Um, also, stick around to the end because um, we're, we're going we're gonna to talk about um, actually, I think I got 15 tips for you on how to ship beer, um, but we're going to talk at the end. I'm going to give you a bonus what you do if you're questioned by an overzealous clerk when you go to ship the beer. So stay to the end for that. All right, guys. Um, I, I never knew um, when I first started um, yeah, getting a little bit involved into online community of home brewing and such. Um, I got to know some, I'm, all, I'm in Canada, I got to know some guys across the pond over in the UK and such, um, down in the States as well. And uh, they were all shipping beer to each other. And so I wanted to get in on that and try their home brewing stuff. And then I wanted to ship some out. So I, I didn't know uh, when I showed up that you are not legally supposed to, in most jurisdiction, jurisdictions, um, to ship beer. They don't let you. Um, so I wasn't able to ship at that time. So I had, I had to get creative. Okay. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the different things that I recommend and do when I'm shipping beer. Um, number one, uh, understand the legal um, restrictions, um, most likely in your area and most areas that I'm aware of. It is um, not legal um, to ship beer, but hey, what they don't know won't hurt them. And it does make a lot of sense because you can ship, you know, different things like uh, other types of liquids, um, food products and such. So um, we're not hurting anybody. This is, this, is an, this, is, this is a victimless crime. Yes, sir. Um, so that's tip number one. Uh, number two, <clears throat> um, in Canada and in the U.S., I don't know about it across the pond. Um, I'm guessing it's similar. This camera is nice and crooked, isn't it, lads? And lasses. There we go. Still a little crooked. Oh, well. Feck it. Um... Go with the United Pers Postal Service, or in Canada, go with uh, Canada Post. Um, stay away from um, companies such as FedEx, UPS, uh, Stricter, um, much more expensive, okay? So go with go with just the regular mail, okay? Um, tip number three, uh, I, feel, I feel like, who was the late night show? Uh, not Leno, but uh, Letterman. We got our top 10 list here. I think this is 15. Anyway, number three, um, I need a beer. I'm, 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 this is the hair of the dog. Uh, last night I had a few pours, met up with a buddy or two, and uh, a little rugged today, but coming around with a beer. Yes, sir. Um, that's a, if you're interested, that's a gold nail um, from actually um, KV Beer Club. That's where I live, and it's actually the brewery down there, Foghorn. That's their English Golden Ale. Uh, it's delicious. One of my favorite beers. Anyway, off track. Do not ship glass, okay? Um, you're going to, uh, you, we've all seen those delivery, those videos of the Amazon or what have you, delivery guys just chucking packages and giving the old elbow drop on them and stuff. So do not do, do use glass, you're gonna break. Um, you want to, um, you, want to, you want to either, if you're sending purchase beer cans, um, and if you are, um, uh, I was looking for one of my plastic homebrew, those are glass, don't send those. If you're using your own uh, homebrew you're sending, use a plastic, um, you know, screw top uh, bottle, okay? Um, make sure, tip number four, make sure the bottle's full. This is a biggie, okay? Make sure it's full. Um, same as if you're, say if, if, you're, if you're shipping wine or whatever, um, spirits, if you make spirits, same idea. Um, get a plastic bottle, like you could even use a plastic water bottle or something, but make sure the beer and then whatever liquid you're sending is full um, in the container. You want it all the way up because what happens, two things, if it's, if it's half full, as the the box is moving um you you can hear the swooshing and number two is you can feel the weight being distributed as well and that'll be those will be signs that something's going on um okay um box selection tip five um get a, a strong uh, cur cur corrugated there we go box is slightly larger than the uh, content that you're going to send in order to allow padding so if you're sending six bottles of homebrew 
beer box that'll fit the six nicely, but also room for padding, okay? Um, tip number six, you can find sp uh, specifically designed for shipping beer and wine boxes um, um, on Amazon. I've come across those, so you might want to look into that. Tip seven, place, spitting all over the place here, place a layer of packing material, so bubble wrap is the best, um, or foam at the bottom of the box. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna open your box up, you're gonna put the, a layer at the bottom, and then we're gonna pack it, and then you're gonna put the layer on top, okay? Um, make sure that when you do um, seal, seal the caps, make sure this is just a no-brainer, it's a tip eight, uh, make sure your caps are on really snug, okay? Make sure they're on tight so you're not gonna have any leaks. Um, okay, number nine, a little bit overkill, but a good thing to do. Um, put each bottle or can in its own heavy-duty Ziploc bag. Remove the air from them as best as possible. You know, if it's a big bag, you can put them in and roll the bag around and seal it, okay? Um, it, 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 it's just, it's just if, if something should happen, um, it's going to not leak out. That's common sense, um, but a good thing to do. Um, use bubble wrap to wrap each beer, okay? Do not use newspaper. Uh, double wrap each bottle, um, each can, sorry, uh, is even better, okay? But you wanna wrap the whole one individually, okay? Place wrap bottles or cans into the box. We're not doing bottles, I don't know. Well, the bottles, yeah, we are plastic bottles. Um, into the box, ensuring they fit snugly and don't have room to move around. Okay, so again, the right size box. That was 10, here we're on 11. Um, nope, that was 11. 12, fill in the gaps between the boxes with foam um, or those packing peanuts, you know, those foam kind of packing peanuts. You wanna fill in all the gaps so, you know, the, the, bo the, the bottles or the cans aren't clanging around. It, it wants to be firm so it's not moving. Um, make sure, tip 13, make sure the boxes are closed completely. Um, don't have the lid popping open uh, or up, or they're going to make you, um, the clerk's going to have you repack it. And you're going to have to take it out there. They're going to see what it is. No good. So you want to make sure the box is closed completely and flat. Okay. Uh, label, clearly fragile handle with care. Okay. Uh, tip number 15. I guess I got 16. So I got two more. Avoid temperature extremes. Consider the climate and temperature fluctuations your package might experience during transit. Okay. Extreme temperatures can affect the quality of homebrew. Um, it can also freaking freeze. Okay. You don't want that. Um, so pick your times when you're going to send it. Ship early in the week because you don't want your beer. This is the last tip. Tip 16. Then I get the bonus. Tip 16. Um, ship early in the week. Avoid your beer sitting in a warehouse over the weekend. Don't want that happening. Ship it by Monday and Tuesday, and then hopefully it'll be as desperate nation before the coming weekend here in Canada. The mail don't go fast. It'll, stall. it'll probably still end up in a warehouse somewhere, but uh, you can only do the best that you can do, man. That's all we're asking of you. You want the bonus. Here's the bonus. If you question whether it's liquid, um, what's in the box, you get two options. One, you can either grab your box and run the hell like hell out of there, or number two, tell them that it is a cooking oil of some sort, you know, olive oil, whatever. Um, because most jurisdictions, it is legal to send cooking oil, which again, doesn't really make any sense. You can't send beer, but it is what it is. So that's your bonus. Hope you liked it, guys. A comment, comment down below. Let me know if you've uh, ever shipped beer and uh, what your experiences have been. Um, also, be sure to subscribe somewhere around here and uh, give this channel a big like, this video a big like for me. And if you're a home brewer, um, I give away my top five beer recipes um, from my old brew pub that I used to own. I do that on my blog and I'll put a link in the description so you can head on over and snag those bad boys up. Here you go, guys. Have yourselves, a, it's a Saturday, it's a Friday, man, I'm losing track. Have yourselves a wonderful Friday if you're watching this video today. Need a couple more of these to get the uh, get the old effects from last evening gone. All right, guys, it's Big Rob telling you to get your brew on, yeah.